Jersey Jay with me in the house from the USASA. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for having me again. Always. Appreciate I love it. it when you stop by. <laughs> love it. You guys have been so busy this year. You're just coming off on another comp this past weekend. How'd that go? Yeah, we just had a competition on Sunday. Uh, it was awesome. It was our second slope style of the season. Uh, again at Sierra at Tahoe, our home mountain for the South Tahoe series. And it was phenomenal. They gave us their terrain park in Upper Main on the Upper Main Trail and they just went crazy with it. They built it like a little <laughs> skate park out of snow with a massive jump with three kickers at the bottom. So that's awesome. It was really impressive. They did a great job. Big shout out to Tyson and, and the terrain park crew out there. Yeah, it takes a lot. I mean, it really is a work of art to change those things up and put them together overnight. Yeah. And, you know, if you saw the size of some of these features and all the transitions <laughs> that they had, I mean, thank God for the snow. I mean, they really utilized it, pretty much everything we got that whole 12 inches from the last storm. So fantastic. And yeah. more on the way, right? We got yeah. more coming through the more area. The I'm liking way. the winter storm doors open. I'm thinking Miracle yeah. Mart. I'm liking I, I, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to yeah. happen too. I'd yeah. give it an 80% 80 chance by now that it's going to have Miracle March. I'm us, feeling so. good about it. Yeah. <laughs> and you have still some more stuff to look forward to. Yes. We have one more event for the USA say, uh, South Tahoe series. Um, unfortunately, not doing half pipes uh, this year for our series because, again, lack of snow. Yeah. Um, our national invites have to be in by March 4th. Uh, so we also really kind of ran out of time as well, even with the new snow that is supposed to come in. Mm -hmm. North uh, Tahoe didn't have a half pipe either, so a lot of those kids had to go to Mammoth. That being said, our final event is this Saturday, March 3rd, at Sierra at Tahoe. It's our final slope style, third slope style, and uh, it should be on that same trail, but they should be switching the park up a little bit, uh, you know, just so it's not too consistent and too easy for the kids this next time around. Keep them guessing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, uh, you, you will bring somebody in here next week. I'm really excited to meet him. Tell yeah. me a little bit about this athlete and how he embodies the USASA whole feel. Yeah, um, so we're going to have, like you said, our special guest who I feel has earned uh, the right to be on here and talk about his, um, you know, his nationals performance, what he's going to get out of it. And that's Graydon Ross from our South Tower series. He's one of our many many boys, I believe, which is 10 to 12 year olds. Uh -huh. um, really awesome kid, bright kid, lots of style, and his progression is just completely blown up in the last year or two. Um, so we expect some good things from him at Nationals, and he's going to come on and talk about what he gets out of not just the Nationals, but the USASA, the South Tahoe Series, and uh, you know, kind of get to question him a little bit and his moment to shine. I look forward to that. I really do, because this is so important for these kids to have that passion, and the USASA really offers the, the vehicle for, you know, help, help drive them further towards that passion of theirs and be, yeah. being better and being being able to compete, you also build into character. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely, and that's one of the big things we we like to touch on is is building character for these you know for these kids and kind of again for me it was a mentor thing, kind of guiding them on their way and, and letting them know you know if they want to go down the path of being a really competitive skier or snowboarder they can. If they just want to come and get the life lessons out of it, they can do that too. And Graydon's got a lot of both of those out of this, so it'll be good to have him on, and uh, I think everybody will will enjoy. Yeah, talking we to will him. absolutely. <laughs> How can people get more information on the USASA and then get more information on these nationals coming up as well? Well, we'll touch a little bit more in the next couple of weeks um, on the nationals with Graydon and uh, what they're all about and how everybody kind of gets there. Um, but uh, yeah, you can go to USASA.org. All the information you need to know to become a member is there. Um, also to find out about nationals, you can go to USASA.org and uh, find the nationals page from there. Each different series is on there, 30 diff uh, 33 different series, mm -hmm. excuse me. Um, and you can look at each one and see you know what you like and how to become a member for next year maybe I love it thank you so much for stopping by thanks this for having me guys. Day and from USASA